<laughs> what is up world? I've just gotten back from Matric Rage 2017. Probably one of the best weeks of my life. This is Matric Vac, Matric Rage Vac 2017 in review. Okay, some context. I stayed at the Mschlunger Sands. I stayed with five of my closest friends in a six sleeper on the 15th floor. I had a platinum passport. Platinum passport meant that you can get into almost any event that Rage was hosting. But uh, as soon as clubs got full or events got full, you weren't allowed preferential entry. But you were still like, like the first in line. But like, like black passports were allowed in and you were like second in line, I guess. You were like, you, you were allowed to be in front of the line, but you weren't allowed in until everyone else was allowed in. So like, I guess it helps a bit. I was lucky enough to be invited with people who actually got upgraded. Um, my friend Octavia, she won she won the, the ultimate Samsung experience upgrade to the value of 150,000 Rand. So she got extremely lucky and I, I was I was extremely grateful and extremely lucky that um, they, they gave me rides in their cars and uh, just because I was friends with them. So shout out to uh, Octavia, Claudia, Annabelle, Annabelle and uh, Tori especially. Thanks so much for, uh, for inviting me and taking me along with you guys. My favorite things of matric fact. I know most of the white privileged people stayed at the Sands, but it was probably the best vibe that you could have gotten because everyone in the hotel was on range. So any noise you made, any <laughs> any disturbance you caused, there was barely any complaints because above you, the person below you, the person, people next to you were having the same time that you were. They were having just as much fun. So you could pretty much do whatever you want within the boundaries. <laughs> when you walk down to the pool, everyone was on matric vac. Everyone there, if, apart from a few awkward families who brought their kids to watch drunk teenagers get drunk and be teenagers. The Sands hosted pool parties twice a week. On the first day, the, it was the Sunday, so we arrived on the Saturday. The Sunday they had a pool party. The Friday they had a pool, a pool party as well and everyone left on the Saturday. All most people left on the Saturday. As soon as we were all checked in, we went downstairs and there was such a sick vibe. Like That's what was so amazing about the Sands is that Everyone you saw, you knew through someone, and uh, everyone there was on the trick vac, so that was really awesome. Another one of my favorite things was the absolute freedom, and freedom that came with security and safety. I mean, you could jump into any rage, rage cab for 40 Rand, go to any event, feeling completely safe, and uh, just having a good time. Like, the organizers did a very good job of keeping us safe. <laughs> yeah, the complete in independence is something that you're not going to get often. My... 12, 12 um, tips and tricks about matric vac. Number one, take enough money and budget the shit out of it. <laughs> a lot of my friends wasted all their money in the first two days and then, to be honest, spent the rest of the time worrying and constantly upset about money and fighting with people and be like, no, I want to save money, I want to save money. Budget, plan yourself accordingly and make sure that you don't spend the whole time worrying about money. Because if you, if you spend the whole time worrying about money, you're not going to have a good time. Tip number two. Pop vitamins, get enough sleep, eat well. Because vac flu is a real thing and it ruins almost two to three days of your experience. Take as many vitamins as you can during that week. Eat like six oranges before you go. Sleep at least six hours a night. I made that mistake. I went to bed at like half past four or five every morning and I was working up about half past ten, eleven by my friends. Thanks guys. <laughs> uh, that was really taxing on my body. I think that's the main reason I got sick. Tip number three, that Saturday, that first day you get there, I know everyone's excited. Everyone's like, we're alone, no parents, nothing, money, so much money, alcohol everywhere. It's so keen. Don't get drunk the first night. Here's a few reasons why. Because one, you're going to be hungover for a couple days. <laughs> And two, the alcohol that you get drunk off the first night, you know that you, you're gonna be sickened by the smell of that same alcohol the second day. And usually that alcohol is the only alcohol you have for the whole week. So make sure you take care of yourself and don't get drunk the first night. Tip number four, my friends and I did a very smart thing. We brought cereal and milk and uh, that's what we had for breakfast. It was convenient, it was cheap, and definitely the, when you're hungover and pissed off and sleep deprived, you don't want to go down and have to sit at a restaurant to eat. You just want to crawl up <laughs> around a bowl of cereal and just, and just not worry about anything else, not worry about wasting money, not worry about how you look, and just get that first meal out of the way. Number five, it's my trick bag. Everyone's there to have a good time. 
don't rely on the friends you know because everyone there is friendly everyone is willing to talk everyone's willing to help everyone's there to have a good time so why not make a few friends while you're there so i'm saying don't rely on the friends you know because if you do then you're gonna be you're gonna find yourself chasing what those people want to do and find the people that do what you want to do and follow them ultimately improving your experience number six this is for you and everyone around you don't you dare mention anything about matric final results because that will just bum everyone's mood whether you're smart or dumb everyone's worrying about their results so don't bum the people around you by asking how they're feeling about it and what they want just give them that one week where they don't have to think about it at all trust me that's what everyone wants to do tip number seven make sure the vac that you're having is the vac that you wanted to have because often as i've said before you find yourself chasing the people you know so that, so that you can feel comfortable on vac step out of your comfort zone do the stuff that makes you happy Go to the aquarium, even if it's by yourself. Go meet people there. I promise you, it is worth branching yourself out because you've been stuck in this high school bubble for quite a while. Branch out. It'll be worth it. Number eight, and this is a personal mantra, mantra of mine. Don't rely on the alcohol to have fun. Often, very often, people will say, I need to get drunk to have a good time. I need to have some alcohol in my system to have a good time. No, you don't. Trust me, getting out, of, getting out of your shell is just as possible while you're sober than, than while you're drunk. Because it's just a state of mind. It's, it's possible. Because if you hurt yourself every night by getting drunk, you're going to make your parents upset, you're going to hurt your wallet, you're going to hurt your body, and you're going to hurt a lot of things. But if you just chill and drink moderately, you're going to save your parents a lot of heartache, you're going to save your body a lot of hurting, and you're going to save your bank account a lot of spending. Tip number nine, let me show you. These are the shoes I took on my trick back. Durable, can survive the mud, and, and not gonna have my, my feet soaked when something gets flooded. I took these shoes and I had a pair of slops. I lost my pair of slops, so I bought these. <laughs> my Jerusalem cruisers. These shoes are amazing. And it, it's a conversation starter as well. Everyone came up to me like, oh, nice shoes. I'm like, thanks, can I have your number? Like, easy stuff. <laughs> And I took two pairs of shoes and that's all I needed because if you're gonna wear designer shoes and all that shit Someone's gonna step on your toe, you're gonna step in mud and you're gonna ruin your shoes <laughs> Just think about it in the dark in the in the dark clubs and the events like that No one's looking at your shoes Most people are jealous of the fact that you actually have comfortable durable shoes that you're not gonna Like ruin after an hour of dancing. Tip number 10 It's okay to go to the party or the jaw in shorts Trust me, you're gonna you're gonna thank me for this one. Because the first night that my friends and I went out, we went in shorts, and everyone else was looking at us like they were jealous of us because we were not sweating as much as they were. You don't have to go in jeans or long pants the whole time. Tip number eleven: pack some block. You're gonna need it. What's up, baby? No, we're not doing a fucking vlog on Sunday. And tip number twelve: push the boundaries, but don't overstep them. Have as much fun as you can without without ruining your friend's time because matric vac is the week that you get to let go and just be whoever you want to be make the most of it and make sure that you're having as much fun as you possibly can because that's all that matters okay my club review origin was a great club it was always packed and it had multiple dance floors i'm not sure how much how many they had i think it was like three or four maybe even five Probably my favorite club was Origin. Uh, Tiger Tiger was really cool as well. They had, uh, there were three dance floors at Tiger Tiger, hip hop floor, the main stage, and a little thing at the entrance. I don't know what that was. I think it was just a bar actually. So probably only two. Azar was always my after after party place. So I usually got there when I was quite tired and soon to leave. But Azar was really cool as well. They had two dance floors as well. Two, a hip hop floor and a main stage. Sound Factory had the bass bin, which was basically the hip hop floor. Almeca, Beat Burra, which was like the trance floor, stimming was there. Uh, uh, pop Art Live was there, great DJs were there. And then the Samsung Mega Hero was where Black Coffee performed, Team ODV, PH Fat, and a lot of other great artists. I have to say thank you so much to the Samsung and Rage organizers and the Red Frogs, especially because they did an excellent job of keeping everyone safe to the fullest of their abilities. And you guys did a, an excellent job of making sure that we had a, a great range. And I thank you so much for that. And that was my matric rage 
back 2017 review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, share, comment, do everything you want. I know you just are out there supporting me and I really appreciate it. I love every single one of you that is watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.